have here as well. We've got a good 30 volt power supply here. 30 volt and half an amp. With an i Sheng coordinate. Now I think that might be just enough to run this LED. Might not be enough current though. It says it runs from 12 to 35 volts, I think it said here, on the spec. So I'm going to bolt that to this heat sink, run the wires to it, and uh, just quickly double check the specs in it to make sure I've got it right. Then I'll write them down, and then I'll uh, test it. Well, also, I've got this, this printer for my neighbour too, which I didn't show in the last video. It's uh, has a nozzle, a nozzle alignment. It just will not align the nozzle, so printers are pretty bloody conceivable. The uh, um, ink for this thing is a lot more than what this whole printer's worth. This was only a forty dollar printer, and buying ink's about fifty bucks. So what's the hell's the point of that? It's just so conceivable. It's not funny. So what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna make up some big chunky cables to go in there with a power supply a little bit, and plug this thing into my big PFC cap bank. Give it a couple of bloody megawatts of energy. Let's see what that does. Yeah, made in China, obviously. Nothing much in, inside this. A circuit board, a couple of motors, and a heap of plastic, and a little LED light strip. This glass is worth keeping, though. Keep that. Yeah, nothing much else inside these things. A couple of motors in here for my drag race series, that's about it. Anyway, I'll get this thing a pop on a cap pack when I get a chance. I'll go, uh, try and get me a little LED going here. I wish I had some um, a, uh, AMD heat sinks. That'd be perfect for this. Everyone seems to use them, and they are good, but I haven't got any. I have to improvise with what I've already got. So I've got a job on four holes, and screw this down with some heat sink compound, and hopefully this will be an adequate enough heat sink for this LED die. Okay, if yours, I'll just bloody blind on myself. Shit, that is bright. Ah, I can see LED dies every time I blink. Ah. Phosphor burning on my eyes. Yep, this Lexmo printer is more than just useless junk. It has a bloody obsolete, absolutely perfect power supply. So, never throw away obsolete junk. 30 volts, 0.5 amp. It did the flow, which is positive, which is negative. I'm going to solder those straight on there. And that's the power supply, and boy, that thing runs very happily and bright, brightly off that. Damn, that blinded me. Perfect, a printer power supply, eh? there you go. Never throw stuff like printers away, they contain very useful uh, bits and pieces like this, so how compact is that? I can fit it inside one of these little halogens. That will better fit inside there too. Probably get a heat sink like that, bigger though, and just stick it to the inside of this to help the uh, aid with the cooling and get a good lens for it. And convert an ordinary 240 volt flood lamp into one of these LED ones. But damn that's bright. Half an amp, that's bloody very more than adequate to run that. Whew. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Worked that quite well. First, I had to drill the holes and got these gold screws from my uh, stash and went backwards and forwards, whizzed it backwards and forwards on that, tapped the thread. Beautiful. Made for it, I tell ya. Even got the measurement perfect between the edges there. Made for it, it's got to find some way of putting a lens on it, a diffuser to concentrate the light. It's complete, all soldered onto my printer power supply. Just got to make a housing and a lens and everything for a diffuser. Fuck, that's bright. Actually, no, not too bad at the diffuser, it's actually quite a good light without it. I turn it off, watch how long it takes to discharge. Capacitor's discharging inside that power supply. I've just blinded myself again. But damn! That boots are sort of running in your city. Oh, I'll start. Okay, I'm not bothered on this. I'll start with these cheap Chinese ones. And if they're okay, I'll experiment with them. That way, I didn't, I didn't pay much for it. If I blow it up, oh well. 
haven't lost much. I'll get me experiences up with these. Then I'll start buying uh, bigger and better, more expensive ones to make a proper setup. But I'm impressed. That is shaggingly wide. That's one of the brightest work lights I've got now. More brighter than that makes that thing look like a freaking uh, a bedside lamp. This is a bloody searchlight compared to that. Takes a while to turn on. That's to be expected. You see it's ghetto speaker behind there. Nice and lit up. Good work light. Yeah, I think it was only half an amp on that. I'll get my multimeter, do some checks. See, I'm blinding the camera down there. I'll do some checks on the multimeter. And I'll show you what the, how much that voltage has actually dropped for the load on that LED. But it's pretty happy. Turn the camera light off. The reflection is making the thing hard to see. DC light 28.5 volts. Jeez. Yeah, that's that's not much of not, not much of a load in that power supply at all. Barely warm. The heatsink's barely higher than room temperature. It's a very adequate heatsink actually. That's all right. I was expecting to have at least an amp or two to get the best products, but for half an amp at 30 volts, that's impressive. I mean, printers themselves don't really use much energy at all. When you turn a power button off on your printer, that's always on, and that barely uses any energy, any energy anyway, so it's pretty efficient. Um, I can't read that. My eyes are buggered. Turn this bloody thing off. Ah, you can see the little dies in there, discharging the capacitors in the power supply. That is a boot ass light. Blinds me though. Oh, I even look, I'm, even, I'm not even looking anywhere near directly at it. It's still blinding me. Not good for your eyes. Um, one amp, yeah, one amp input max. If I loaded this thing right up, it'll pull one amp from the mains, but. That's probably barely pulling anything like that. There's a little light on there. So if I make an enclosure with that going to there and that going on a nice little dust tie, I can't get dust on that. That's like a gel on there. And that, that will stick dust to it like crazy. So I'm going to have to um, make up a little lens or something for it. Even convert an old Ever Ready Dolphin torch. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that is a housing. An old Ever Ready Dolphin torch. Cut the back off. Stick that on where the actual the incandescent was. Little area there. Stick on the back, stick this inside, and plug this in the back of the dolphin torch, and you've got a good little uh, bloody LED light. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.